Yes, sure. I was studying the University of Barcelona, civil engineering, and then I, I was studying in London, uh, financial and economics uh, studies. Uh, my former work was in Akbar, a big utility related with water and water treatment. Uh, well, my, my, my uh, job was related with energies and energy market. Uh, I was in charge of the energy department in Akbar doing mm, different stuff related with energy efficiency, uh, energy procurement and, and as a consultant uh, for our uh, internal companies and for different external uh, clients as well. Okay, and you've now chosen a career in consulting companies on buying energy, but what challenges does Spain face? Yes, in Spain we have a uh, huge challenge now to face. Uh, we are uh, starting with a new hub uh, implementation in Spain, so uh, now is, is, is Spain and our customers are paying uh, the highest price for gas in Europe and we have to see how this hub uh, uh, is going to, to change these, these uh, policies and these prices in the, in the gas market. Uh, for the electricity, we are Mm, we are dealing as well different uh, regulatory regulatory uh, issues, mm -hmm. and and at the same time the complexity of the market in in Spain uh, well has to to take we have to take into account this part and and, and try to convince our supply, our, the suppliers and and to, to change a little bit the, the rules in and, and the and the um, different offers and, and that they present to our customers. So we have a lot of challenge to deal in the Spanish in the Spanish market and we have to, to help our customers understand and um, how to negotiate the, the best contracts as well. Okay. Well, Benedict, uh, ENC has confirmed its commitment in the Spanish market with our new office, ENC Consultants Hispania. How important was that to you? Um, it's very important for several reasons. Uh, the first reason is that many of our international clients, they have a plant or a site in Spain. Mm -hmm. um, the second reason is, like Jordi just said, is the Spanish market is, is, is in development and uh, clients there are facing many challenges, meaning that our consulting can be very valuable to them and specifically uh, the way we can teach them uh, uh, the lessons we've learned in other countries in Europe uh, can be very valuable. Um, at this moment, uh, we also wanted to continue our presence because uh, people from ENC BVBA from, from Belgium have spent a lot of effort uh, in developing our knowledge regarding the Spanish market in the last years and for us it was important to give a continuation to this and um, we're very happy with the solution we found because now ENC Consultants Hispania is a 100% daughter of ENC so we have uh, an opportunity of really bringing the ENC product like people are used to in other countries mm -hmm. now in Spain as well with, uh, with Jordi and Maria. Well, we have already have a, a second consultant, Maria. Could you tell us something more about yourself? Yeah, sure. I was born in Madrid mm -hmm. and I've been working for wind development as a consultant for the three years, mm -hmm. whether in Madrid, Navarra and Barcelona, but I was willing uh, to change, I was willing to gain a wider uh, approach, a wider uh, knowledge um, mm -hmm. of the energy market as a whole, so I'm very enthusiastic about it. Okay, well, the future is looking bright for ENC and Spain, isn't it? Do you have any other plans? Yes, well, we're about to launch also uh, the search for a third person uh, because. Uh, we are expanding the client base at this moment uh, rapidly, uh, so we're looking for a third person that can help us as a junior sales uh, person. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Thank you.